Hello and welcome to Observations from the Fence Post. In this video, we're going to be looking at the 2022 annual for Batman Detective Comics. Now, sometimes annuals are just completely uh, standalone stories, not related to any story arcs going on in the main title. And sometimes uh, the annuals are um, an extra story that ties in to what's going on in the main title. In this case, we have a tie-in. Uh, this story, which is called Gotham Nocturne Motif, ties into the ongoing saga of uh, the current Batman Detective comments of Gotham Nocturne. Uh, the story is written by Rom V, who is writing the other um, Gotham Nocturne stories. And as you can see, a whole lot of people were involved in uh, making this story. You can see various artists here, Christopher Mitten, Raphael Albuquerque. Hayden Sherman. Uh, you can see Lee Lowridge as colorist and um, everyone else that was kind of involved in this particular issue. And as you can see, there's the title, Gotham Nocturne Motif. So let's kind of uh, delve into the review of this. It is a single uh, story. It, there's only one story in this issue, not two, uh, like, the, like the main detective comics. And what it is, our story starts off with uh, two people we're familiar with. From uh, the Gotham Nocturne saga, which are the characters of Gael Tinclaw and Shavad. These two are uh, work for the Orgum family, who has recently come to Gotham. And, uh, and this story opens up with the two of them going to look for a buried artifact in the ruins of Arkham Asylum. Uh, there is a reason for obtaining this artifact that they want to find. And so then the story goes all the way back to 1776 when there was a settlement called Gathom, G-A-T-H-O-M-E. Uh, this settlement would eventually become Gotham. So, uh, But in this story, 1776, we have a, a small settlement here. We've got many characters in this, this settlement. And the story in 1776 begins with a boy witnessing the murder of his mother and father. So if that sounds familiar, um, there is a reason, and hence the, the title, I believe, of Motif. What you're going to find is different characters back in 1776 uh, are very similar to characters in uh, modern Batman. And, and that's fun. That's part of what makes this uh, story fun. So this boy's family is murdered. Okay, a world war... I mean, I'm sorry, a Revolutionary War veteran named Aldris Pierce. Um, he kind of takes the boy under his wing. Uh, the local sheriff, Garrett uh, Jarden, is trying to investigate uh, what happened uh, with this murder. Uh, we have a, a pastor in town by the name of Ichabod Crane, Crane with a K. Um, and this pastor... Um, thinks that um, there's some bad things going on in Gothom. Uh He feels that the local healer, Aliana, it, who is a female medicine healer, he thinks that she is a witch, and he is very suspect that she might have ties to the murder of the uh, Tom and Marie Wainwright, is what we learn about the couple who was killed. Uh, the boy, we do not get his name. Uh, he's just a young young Wainwright. Um, so we also find out that um, a, a group of a family called the Orgums are coming to town. Now, you'll recognize that family from the ongoing storyline in Detective Comics of Gotham Nocturne. And it's this Orgum is Ethaniel Orgum. And surprise, surprise, Gael Tinclaw. So Gael Tinclaw, our uh, werewolf in uh, the current run of Gotham Nocturne in Detective Comics, seems to have been around for a long time. Okay. And um, so they are going to back financially the building of a church for the pastor Ichabod Crane. And so they have come to town. Um, as you may guess, there's probably more to them coming to town than meets the eye. But uh, what we do know is they are going to fund the church uh, to be built in Gothome. 
and the location of the church is, wow, surprise, the same location as Arkham Asylum in the future. So very, very interesting. In the meantime, there is a group of thieves called the Raiders, and they have a plan to in, invade Gathom. And uh, again, this uh, Revolutionary War veteran, Aldris Pierce, he is trying to protect uh, the, the young boy, the young Wainwright. And they come into contact with a, a strange character named Mordecai, who seems kind of, um, I don't know, he seems like he may be timeless, just like Gael Tinclaw. In fact, if I had to guess, I believe Mordecai, now this is a guess, this is speculation, I believe Mordecai is the same person as our young uh, boy from the Coda arc that Jim Gordon found that uh, is part of the ongoing storyline of Gotham Nocturne. I believe that that young boy could be a Mordecai. Uh, we'll see. That remains to be seen. So there. Uh, don't want to ruin too much. This is a really good story. It's a lot of fun identifying the old characters and their uh, modern contemporary uh, part. That's a lot of fun. It, it, it's a good story. It's, um, you know, uh, figuring out uh, what's going on and where it's going. Um, and it's nice to get a story about um, kind of the origins of Gotham City uh, when it was just, um, again, a settlement called Gotham or Gotham, Gotham, maybe. So anyway, that's interesting. So then the issue kicks back to, to modern days. And uh, what you find out is that Gael Tinclaw had buried this artifact uh, underneath the church, uh, and it was supposed to kind of, you know, uh, give give some power, okay? Now they're removing that artifact in modern day time, you know, like you can figure 2022. They're removing that from the ruins of Arkham Asylum, and I think they're hoping that that may give the, the family um, some, some power, now that uh, uh, they have it in their possession again. So we'll have to see. There is an interesting scene where um, the matriarch organ um, ha it is opening a box, and inside this box contains a tongue and two eyeballs. So it remains to be seen who, well, who that belongs to. I don't know. I'd, if I was just going to, if someone pinned me down to make me guess, I'm wondering if it's um, uh, you know someone from uh, the story we just read in 1776, like uh, maybe um, if I had to guess, I'm going to guess it was maybe Aldrich Pierce, um, and maybe we'll learn more about that in the uh, um, stories to come. So anyway. It was a lot of fun. I greatly enjoyed this particular uh, story. Um, it ties in very nicely with the ongoing story of Gotham Nocturne, uh, which is happening in the in the main run of Detective Comics. And uh, this one's fun. This this was I enjoyed this one. Uh, let me kind of give you a glimpse of, of some of the artwork. You know, there this is uh, the the settlement Gotham. Okay. Um, you know, we can see. Just different uh, things happening. Uh, right here is uh, Aldrich Pierce right there. And this is Mordecai, uh, who I've uh, mentioned and talked about. So, uh, again, a lot of fun. And um, if you're already reading this arc, I highly recommend that you include this issue in your run. So, thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you joining me. Um, I hope that I get some Batman lovers watching this and um, feel free to like and comment to see if uh, uh, you know, I'd love to hear where you think this story is going. And anyway, uh, thank you very much. Remember, always keep it between the ditches and uh, peace. Thank you. Bye bye.